Let's see what's good. Take your pick. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at Anchor in the Bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes. And if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Just hope he doesn't blindly follow Arasaka protocol. What protocol? Unwritten rules. Had him here in Night City. Could be different in Japan. If IA got even a whiff of treason, they'd prep an enhanced interrogator and send two elite squads with air support to grab the suspect. I understand the point you seek to make. But if Oda has ulterior motives, he will need no elites, no air support, no one but himself. Trust me, I have seen him walk. Mm. That's supposed to be reassuring? If it helps you stay calm, you can gaze at the sky. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged.
myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. V, you can trust Oda. All right then, Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until your Nobu lunged at Saburo and started Silence. Joking. It's the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly, I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. But you can't ignore the truth! The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to your noble summer. What would you do now were you in my place? I do no favors. I will deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself lucky that I am not you. Oda, you, you are an Arasaka soldier. This is not a request. We remind you of your duty to be truthful to your superiors. I did not come here to be lectured to by a thief. Wasn't always what I am now. And your friend here didn't always look like a bum. Feel free to join us. Plenty of room at the bottom of the heap. Not enticed? Then do your duty. Tell Hanako what nobody else wants to hear. That should be to him. As you say, food of all thought. Just gotta tell it like it is sometimes. It is a shame. Nothing will come of it. How come? It should have been obvious. Oda is a perfectionist. He most fears to make a mistake. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Fine friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm. How do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see that parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If, somehow, we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? H hang on. Not so fast. Make it sound as easy as hacking a schism. But you said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in All Night City. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. No, just the fixer, Dame. Wakako Okada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? <laughs> ah, shit! <laughs> J.J. Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a Night City name. Beware. You mock me. Too often. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. 
Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Have shared interests, you and I. Or have you forgotten? Certainly not. Good. Because catching lead in Night City is easier than catching a cold. And I need you alive. I am alive and well. As you can see, you should worry about yourself. City, your man Stan here. Anyone out there had the misfortune of installing Sata Tech's latest? No idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together, that's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san,お会いできて光栄です。Ah, <laughs> a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Caution. Caution? World's most wanted Japanese fugitives hiding out in Night City and you got nothing to do with it? Please. We know they're thinking. They'll link you to us faster than you can finish puffing on that sig. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex's fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He's deceased. Butchered and dumped at a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat? No. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex. I answered. Just facts. Nothing more. Good. Cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. 
How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free. You sure? Got my reasons. But patience, I got none. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi Platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, the guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old, automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for? Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon, won't I? Thanks, Wakako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Just low profile, okay? Don't start handing out autographs. In fame, I could not overtake you if I tried. Be safe. Be. Well, well, have you tried your look at the slots? I beg your pardon. You look like a man hey, Judy, whose last up? best hope is hey. a stroke of good fortune. Can you come over, Stan? You truly think so? Something happened? Fortune is yeah. like a roulette wheel. Just Sometimes come. all it takes is a little push. A risk. Mm. Perhaps. Perhaps you have a point. I appreciate this advice. You got to eat. See for yourself. Relax. Shut your mouth. You are. Yes? What's got up? any real meat back there? You mean uh, from animals? Don't be ridiculous.
I need you to acquire something. Only me, no client. So I expect quick and clean results. You will be entering Tiger Claw territory. Very high risk. More information attached. herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. I was... I was only gone an hour. How did this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always when I went out. And I got back to... Fuck. If I'd just known, I'd have... Don't blame yourself. Won't solve anything. I should have sensed something. That it was off. <laughs> Stop. Couldn't watch her 24-7. She'd made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. <laughs> I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. <laughs> it's 
told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? You know, to you, she's your best friend, so it's a terrible tragedy. They must get dozens of calls like this every day. What are you, the fucking PR rep? No, just saying. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. Sig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Smoked some strange boutique brand. That's Evie. Whenever she pulled on a new face, it was down to the details. A lot of people know the real Evelyn. Who she really was? No. Nobody. if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. Know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her and had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your Average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. <laughs> Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. 